Hey, this is Jeremy with Bob's Exotic Reptiles. Welcome back to the channel. And I'm excited because this is our first clutch of 2020. All right, so this girl here, she is a pastel butter yellow belly genetic stripe. And she was bred to a banana puzzle. So we're going to get some double head puzzle genetic stripes with all the other uh, codoms involved. And she was wrapped around these really good earlier and when I checked on them but it looks like she kind of lifted up. She she's so uh, let's remove her. It's been a little bit since I removed the snake since last season. Please don't tag me. Oh. Let's go. They all look pretty good. Make sure she's empty. She actually, you can see she's a little thin, but she's actually, you know, held a pretty good amount of weight on her. For just having... Okay. All right. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what did I guess? We all did a little guess here. Kendall, what did you guess? Six. <laughs> Casey, you guessed? Five. Okay, and I guessed nine. And I, I did not see seven. these. Um, so, Jeannie, you want to go ahead and hit the lights? <laughs> all right, so there we have it. First clutch of 2020, and there's a... Um, I'm in, going to guess maybe 25 more clutches if everything goes right. Um, this one's a really nice one for me because it's double head puzzle genetic stripe. I love the yellow belly jeans, so we'll see what happens and hope for the best. All right, guys, another day, another set of clothes, but I figured I'd show some stuff off. Uh, a couple new things that I picked up is this right here, ring light, halo light, whatever you want to call it. Makes it easier to take better pictures and stuff like that. Um, and as you've seen earlier in this video, I did have an ovulation, or I did have some eggs lay, but uh, I do have some other ovulations. Let me go ahead and show you. These are from about a week ago or so. Oh, actually, she's giving me eggs. We just caught her in the middle of dropping eggs. I actually checked on her probably an hour ago and there was nothing. As you can see there's one that she's pushing out right now. So we're going to go ahead and leave her alone. She is a mystic and she was bred to a super mystic which are I think are awesome looking animals and this is the super mystic here. Okay so I went ahead and called the camera girl in because she's much better at holding the camera than I am. But uh, here is the Mystic. And I'm gonna put her on this little piece of black plastic. Maybe this light, see if we can get a good look at her. But I think she is just awesome looking. Or he, this is a male. But uh, anyways, everything will be at least Mystic in that clutch that's uh, dropping eggs right now and super mystic so we'll get some more of these right. now i was originally showing you my ovulations but actually she's dropping eggs now so i'll show you the other ovulations that i have so far um this girl here i think she's beginning her ovulation now at least from what I could tell earlier, I'm not sure. She's close to it if she didn't start yet. Earlier she was laying straight and had that little tail tuck and had the tail suck underneath and everything. I'm not gonna mess with her now. But um, she is a clown. Sold to me as a Mojave clown, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll find that out. But she's bred to a pastel desert ghost. And then the other ovulation is a champagne girl. This is uh, about a week ago. And she was, she's just a regular champagne. She was bred to a banana pied, so everything will be 100% pieds. And even champagne's 
just a het champagne or a het pied champagne looks like pies almost because they get really large ringers. All right, and this is the other one. This is just a, a het pied female. She's ovulated for me already. Um, she actually looks like she's ready to do her pre-shed here. But uh, this girl here, she's a proven breeder, and I also put the banana pie with her, so um, still waiting on her to ovulate. These red tags here, each tag is one week without feed, and I've been noticing usually between four and eight weeks is when they start, when I notice ovulations on them. Um, oh, down here. This one's only been off three weeks. Uh, but she's ovulated for me already. She's just the normal, but she's double het clown pied. And she was bred to a clown het pied, so we're hoping for the double recessive there. Um... I think that's all my ovulations, so that would have been one, two, three, would have been four, but one's dropping eggs now, so right now three, and I'm expecting maybe 25 this season. Oh, let me show you some snakes. Bongo Ultra now. If they're in shed, I won't show them. And I'm not the tallest person, so I need my ladder. just want to show them. I showed them several times, but now that I have the light, maybe you can get a better idea of what they really look like. She's a little, but she's actually eating really good in this bigger tub. It's a dark tub. I wouldn't put them in there if it was a lighter tub, but look at the coloring on her. I don't know if that, is the camera picking that up? Maybe move the light back up there. Move the light what? She actually, you know what, I think she may. Maybe in another week or so be going in the shed because normally she looks a little more redder. Right now she looks really orange. But either way you can kind of get an idea, I guess. But yeah, that's a Bongo Ultra Male and it is a female. And I believe there was only one that I've ever seen. I believe it was in the UK. Not saying that there's not any more in the United States, but as far as pictures online. See, we have a pastel Enchi Desert Ghost female that I'm growing up. I don't know if she's going to be ready next year or not. But there she is. She's not. But yeah, Desert Ghost Enchi female. And here's another one that I really like. And maybe she'll go next year for me too. This girl is an orange dream yellow belly 100% hip pied female. And the day or the week after she sheds, she almost glows. But she looks really good now too, but and I got this girl from Ozzy. But yeah, that's a Spectre Gravel. Else. Now this is a freeway. Obviously they're both in the Yellow Belly complex because there's Yellow Belly and Asphalt in this, Spectre and Gravel in this. Now that's a freeway, Spectre Gravel. And you know what? Might as well, I'll go ahead and pull out a highway. But this guy's gonna be a little bigger. He's actually a pastel highway. So yeah, you get the idea. Of course the pastel really lightens it up. So I have been pairing her up. She missed one meal, but I think she just shed too. So this is usually easier when they move faster and you can kind of feel the humps. 
I'm uh, feeling something very, very small in there. Don't know the sizes, the millimeters or centimeters, when you feel like that. I don't have an ultrasound. Um, but here's one here. And I'm gonna do this girl. And maybe you can see in my hand the bumps. I think she's the one that I felt I was with. When I'm running her through, just watch my hand. You can feel, you can almost see it open up like this a little bit. If this is the correct snake, I can't remember if this one's. I gotta get her to move in there quick. Oh, come on. You got the right idea. Go in there. There you go. Get her to move. Okay, watch my hand. See. Boom, 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 boom. So there's four there that I felt. Okay, so here's one of my tubs. And I keep rep the chip in a 55 gallon trash can with wheels on the bottom so I can just roll it around and have the scooper. And what I like to do is just put anywhere between three to four scoops in one of these 70 series tubs. Like so, spread it out. And one of the things I've noticed using any kind of cocoa, doesn't matter who makes it or whatever, is I always get these little mats. So what I like to do to take care of that, and I've always done this anyways, is I spray anytime I do a tub change this reptile spray it, it's a it prevents mites from coming in and kills any like gnat eggs and stuff like that now the gnats they they don't harm the snake or anything like that but four inch PVC coupling. I cut these down, these ones are a little high, so I cut them down a little shorter. That way the, the animal's not bumping their head or trying to squeeze in. If, if I didn't cut it, it'd be like this. Look. Yeah, let me adjust this. If I didn't cut these couplings down a little bit, I think I took like five eighths or an inch or something like that off, it'd be really close to the top of the tank or top of the, um, the rack. So I just trim them up a little bit, gives them a little more space. So you can see the deli cup, I think this is 16 ounce deli cup, <laughs> fits right in there like that. Add the water. And that's what I do. And you can actually, that reptile spray, you can actually spray that right directly on the snake. Obviously, you're not trying to go for the head, you know, but anytime I get new animals, that's one of the first things I do when I uh, quarantine them. I put them on paper and I leave them in, you know, I used to do just a month, you know, um, still do a month for hatchlings, but any adults that I get in, I do two month minimum. Um, and I spray that reptile spray right on them and kind of wipe it off with a towel. And then I spray the paper, let it dry a little bit, and then add the snake in there. Okay, now as far as my egg box, I just use perlite. I also use vermiculite. I, you know, I just happen to have a little bit left over the perlite, so I'm just using it up. I don't think it makes a difference. Others might say it does, I don't know. Um, this is just dry in there. And what I do is I just add, I don't measure the amount of water I add to it. I just kind of pour it in there. And I like to have, if anything, a little more water than a little than less. As long as my um, light deflectors, which this is what I use. I know uh, there's a new there's a company that makes egg trays that sit on top that has the eggs cut out. I can't remember the name of them, but I'm sure you guys heard of them or seen them or you can Google them. But what I just use right now is this light deflectors. Um, you can get them at Home Depot to come in a 
I think a three foot or two foot by four foot sheet or something like that. Um, and I put two of them together. I cut them out to fit into the tub and I zip tie them. I do two because one I feel is not thick enough to lift it up off of the off the uh, off of the bed in here. But yeah, you can see that's really wet. Some would say that's almost too wet. But you know, as long as this sits on there and give it a little push, I'm pushing it pretty good. And water's not coming up to the top, so as long as you're as long as water's not reaching the eggs, it's still elevated, so that's perfectly fine. And that or at least that's how I do it, you know. So that's how I make my egg boxes. And I'll go ahead and stick this in the incubator so the the, the water in there will get to the temperature of the uh, incubator and then when she's done laying I'll go back maybe in a few hours and pull the eggs. Alright, we are... <laughs> Mom's making faces behind your back. <laughs> Alright, we are back. We gave her a few hours now. She should be done. And she looks done. And we always do a little thing here guessing how many eggs that uh, she's carrying so uh, or not carrying but hatched or laid my guess was five she's a first time mom Casey what or Kendall what was your guess Seven. Jeannie was six and yours was five mm -hmm. so let's see who wins and whoever loses has to wash my truck Ooh. Nope. Yeah. I didn't shake on that. We're going to the car wash and let them do it. Okay, so let's... Oh, look at that. <laughs> do I know my first time moms or what? They look like nice eggs. Let's just keep her over here for now. I like to give her a little cleaning before we go. Uh, somebody want to hit those lights? Do you need one this part's gonna be. Okay, that's clutch number two for this season so far. Mystic to Super Mystic. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't and hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I do a new video.